Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very long overdue, huge summer haul video. Now I'm just going to put it really bluntly. I was doing a little bit of online shopping the other day and I bought a fair bit. I did a haul. I did buy a few things from a fair few number of brands. So there's going to be a couple of haul videos, probably back to back coming up your way. I'm sure you won't mind, but I'm a very all or nothing kind of person, okay? I really felt like doing a little bit of summer shopping, so that I did. So I thought I'd kick things off with a little H&M haul. Well, I say little. There's a fair few bits and pieces behind me, as you'll see, because I was so impressed. I literally popped on H&M because I was wanting to buy one thing that I'd seen, and then I ended up buying a whole load of stuff on top of the other stuff that I'd already bought. It's happened. It's fine. It just means more haul videos for you guys. And in my defence, I haven't uploaded a haul for a very long time. So I'm going to stop babbling. I'm going to jump straight into the video. I'm also going to be filming this video slightly differently. So rather than just filming on trial clips, I'm actually going to film um, and talk you through my sort of first impressions. Talk about the fit because what I've found is so often I'll hold up an item of clothing and talk about it and then I'll put it on and I'll have a whole different opinion on it and yeah the amount of times I've shown things to you guys in hauls and said I don't like these I'm sending them back and then I've ended up keeping them and you guys are so like eagle-eyed and you'll comment on my Instagram and say I thought you were sending those back and these things happen all the time so yeah I'm going to do it a little bit differently so I hope you enjoy the different format of this video but as I said let's just jump straight in so H&M first thing I picked up was this gorgeous linen shirt dress. Love the short sleeves, I love the light fabric. I feel like this is gonna be really easy breezy and cool with the warm weather. Also, just a heads up guys, I've really entered my kind of dress loving phase. I've never been a dress kind of girl until this year and I don't know what it is, whether I just feel a little bit more confident in what I'm wearing now or whether I've just found the sort of styles that I prefer. I've just really been enjoying dresses and I've got such a newfound appreciation for how comfortable a dress is, like just to wear, just to throw on. So yeah, expect to see a fair few dresses over the next couple of haul videos, but there we go. So this lovely linen um, shirt dress, it's also got this kind of like plaited belt around the waist that comes with it. Don't know whether I'll end up keeping this or not. Sometimes I don't like belts that come with things like this and I prefer to just add my own. I thought this would be really nice to throw on with some tan accessories, really lovely basket bag. I will pop all the links to everything in the description box. Um, I picked up my regular size, which is a um, size small. I'm usually a UK size eight. And just for height reference, I am five foot eight. Uh, oh no, it's not linen, sorry. It's 20% recy recycled cotton. So it's a linen blend, should I say. But it looks lovely. I'm hoping it's not going to be too see-through. It does look like quite a light fabric, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on with this one. Okay, so this is the linen dress on. Now, oh, this is a real this is a real difficult one because face value, I, I love the shape. I love the shape of it. I really like the sort of longer, boxier sleeves on me. I, although I am kind of steering more towards trying some like dresses and things like that, I definitely prefer the perhaps like less feminine shapes. So the shape of this dress, I really, really love. I think I love the length, length of the length of the sleeves, great. I love how it looks with. Um, like tan sandals as I'm wearing here. The thing that lets it down for me, unfortunately, it's just the quality isn't there. If the quality is not there for me, I'm not going to even keep it as like a just in case because I know I'll never reach for it and wear it the way I want to wear this. So I would love to be able to just throw this dress on, go and run errands, go and do this, that and the other. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it in this dress because it's just too see-through. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on camera, but I have popped on a little white sort of like sports bra type top underneath and I feel like you can see straight through it. Um, I'm also not wearing white underwear. I'm wearing like black underwear and I just feel like I can see it too much. I don't even want to turn around because you can literally just see the shape of my underwear, which is just a shame, but I'm not going to reach for it if I'm going to be practically see-through wearing it. I'm really disappointed because I do love the look of it, but 
yeah unfortunately it's going to be a no and i actually loved the look of that dress so much online and um, they did it in two colors they did it in this gorgeous green color as well and i'm loving like sage green i've got a shirt in this color from zara and i really really love it so when i saw this as the like a linen dress version i thought this will be something that i reach for all the time i love these kind of things just throwing them on with some chunky sandals a casual bag it just i feel really put together in these sorts of things and i think because they're so similar to like a little play suit and jumpsuits and play suits i adore so yeah i couldn't resist grabbing this in green same size size small but couldn't help myself this is the exact reason I wanted to get this dress in another colour because I already knew that I liked the kind of style and shape of it but I did have a sneaky suspicion that the white one might be see-through. However, as you can see, in the kind of sagey green colour, not see-through, a lot more just practical. So you can't see my dark underwear, at least I can't see it. I don't know what the camera's going to pick up but... I feel much more um, secure, let's just say, wearing this one. The only thing I would probably do is I will probably get rid of this belt. So the little kind of plaited belt part, this actually comes with the dress, but I don't particularly like this. I feel like it kind of cheapens the look. I think if you got rid of that and added your own, maybe like a really nice thin tan belt, um, that would just elevate it a little bit more for me. So probably won't so much style it with the belt but I do really like this as a very easy throw on dress just to potter about in, run errands. This feels like the kind of dress that I wish the white one was because really if I'm being honest I prefer the look of the white but yeah this one's just a little bit more a little bit more practical for me. Okay next up this black dress you can see the front of it is like this low, deep V. It is a maxi dress, but it just feels so loose and floaty and comfortable. This would also work great as like a beach cover up. Really, really good dress for throwing in the case and taking with you on holiday. Again, tan accessories, nude accessories, black accessories. They all work with this. I feel like everyone needs that really easy throw on black summery dress and yeah i feel like this is it i won't mind wearing this at home in the garden it's not like it's white so it's a bit more practical i did pick this up in um, a slightly smaller size i actually got this in an extra small um rather than a small only because i read a lot of reviews on the website and all of them were saying how um how big this dress comes up so i did size down i think looking at it that was the right decision because the extra small looks about my size it also has um, at the back here you can alter the length of the straps which is really nice as well so if you don't like anything that's too low or you know showing too much booby area you can obviously adjust that to your liking but yeah I just thought that was really really lovely okay I am so happy that this fits just as comfortably as I wanted it to it's so floaty i literally feel like i'm wearing nothing it's just as i said so comfortable it's that perfect piece of clothing that you just want to throw on when it's too hot you don't want layers you just need something to cover yourself but still feel just light and breezy this is literally it it's so floaty at the bottom but i really like how it hangs on the body it's still really flattering i don't feel like I'm just wearing a bag. Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like I've just popped a bin liner on. Um, you can alter. I haven't touched the length of these straps. So it's maybe sitting an inch or two lower than I perhaps have for wearing day to day. Um, but yeah, even still, I still quite like it um, sort of with a deep V. But you can shorten the uh, length of the straps if that's not for you and you prefer it to sit a little bit higher. My only critique is I wish it had pockets, but that's just me. Regardless, I love this. This is a definite win for me. Okay, next up, a bit of a basic, but I couldn't resist. I'm actually wearing one of them now. So these came in a pack of three, just these really basic best tops. Let me um, just take one of them off so I can just show them to you 
one at a time so really simple but really really good and just effective for simple outfits so they're all these kind of like monochromatic vests so i've got the white here with the black um trim around the edge i love black and white together so in the three pack you get this one here's me just throwing them on the floor you also get the black one with the white trim like this I think basic tops like this just work really effectively with monochromatic outfits so wearing this with maybe like an oversized white shirt some black shorts just adds that little bit of detail and I love it so you got those two and then you also get this one in the pack so this one's just like a plain cream one so they're all the same just slightly varied in colour and I just thought that was a really good addition to my little basics wardrobe. Usual size, I've got my size small. So yeah. Okay, this is just the easiest yes ever. Simple, basic top, it fits great. It goes with so much in my wardrobe. I'm not gonna try the other one on for you. I'll just grab it though, so you can see it. I was obviously wearing the cream one in the speaking clip, but the other one is just the exact opposite of this. Great base layer. I mean, does what it says on the tin really, doesn't it? Just adds a little bit of extra detail to otherwise a very basic top. But we all need basics in our wardrobe. I know they're a bit boring, but we all need them. So this is a huge yes from me. Okay, this is a bit of a different purchase for me. This is probably my wild card of the haul. This is the item where I thought, Am I going to end up keeping that? I don't know. I loved how it was styled on the model online. Whether it's me or not, I don't know. As I said, I've entered my dress phase. So I thought, should I push the boat out and try a skirt? I loved the denim, um, like the denim midi, the denim maxi trend in spring. So I've been wanting to try and sort of carry it over to summer. Um, but just in a different fabric, so rather than denim, I thought, let me try this one. So this is um, a cotton skirt it's black you know my safe color it's high waisted and it's kind of like an a-line shape obviously it's really hard to show you you'll have to wait until the trial clip but i thought wearing this even just with one of the um like plain vest tops with a belt round it really simple outfit so i don't know if i'm gonna like this on whether i'm gonna keep this i'll have to tell you more about it in the trial clip but yeah this is my little um, wild card of this haul. Okay, so this is the skirt on. In terms of the quality and the fit, I really like it. I'm a very much like true size, like UK size eight. And this is really lovely around the waist. It's not like a stretchy material. Um, it is cotton. So if you're between sizes, you might have to get this taken in because there's not really like any room to give but um it fits me really nicely i'm really happy with the fit it has pockets as well which i didn't realize until i put it on so i'm very happy with the pockets i've just styled it with um my black linen shirt this one's from cos so i love how it looks with the shirt and it gives that more of like a dress vibe but then i'm thinking would it be best off just buying a dress in this style i think it would also look nice with just a black um just a black bodysuit again it's something that is very easy to throw on i don't think you'd get too hot in this um yeah i really like this okay now i just said that was my wild card but i'd say this is probably a little bit wild for me it's really not that wild guys but it is for me and my comfort zone so black dress um, it is, is it mini? Yeah, it is a mini dress. Black cotton dress, but it's got this brodery detail on the sleeve and just a little bit along the hem. And yeah, it's very, um, although it's very, I'd say it's very pretty, it still feels um, wearable for me. I think because it's black. <laughs> black makes me feel safe when it comes to clothes. So this was one of those items I thought, you know what, I just want to try it. I loved how it looked online. If you don't try, you'll never know, will you? So whether I end up keeping this, I don't know. But looking at it like this, I like how it looks. I just don't know how it's going to fit. I don't know if this is going to just hang like a bit of a bag because it's not very fitted or tailored. But we're going to see. We're going to see about this one. Oh, and I grabbed my usual size, size small. I really didn't know what to expect with this one, but I actually like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. So first of all, the quality of this is really nice. It's got that 
quite like you know that stiff material so it holds its shape and personally I feel like this looks more expensive than it actually was I really really love the detail on the sleeves please excuse my nails I've literally lost all of my nails from this hand but I really love the cuffs on them with a little bit of broidery on the bottom of the sleeves I feel like it looks a little bit unusual I like the hemline on it I think the length of this is really nice it's not too short um, but it's not too long either I still feel like it's quite flattering I like the fact that it's got a collar as well again it kind of gives it that slightly more masculine edge it makes it less feminine and I think that's the key that I've found for me personally with dresses um, yeah I really love this I think this is actually really nice so yeah I think I'll definitely be keeping this one this one may come as no surprise but shock i quite liked striped linen shirts in the summer so i got this one from h&m this one that i'm wearing at the minute and um, by the way guys is from zara i love it reach for it all the time it's got a lovely like cut out detail at the back um, but i saw this one on h&m in this more sort of beige and white stripe so this is more of like a sage green i saw this one i know it's super similar to one i'm wearing but guys don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it, okay? I know, I know what I like. So I decided to grab this one because I just know I will wear it so, so much. Um, I did pick this up in a size large. It didn't say it was oversized on the website and I did see a lot of reviews saying if you did want it oversized to definitely size up a couple of sizes, which looking at it now, I'm really glad I did. This looks like my ideal size when it comes to linen shirts. I like my linen shirts to almost be long enough um, and big enough to wear as a dress not that i ever will wear them as a dress but you know if you want the option to wear them as like a beach cover-up throwing them on over a bikini on holiday i like the option i don't like linen shirts that are too tailored and fitted and restrictive i like them to be big baggy floaty and yeah just very easy to throw on i think this will look gorgeous tucked in some white trousers or some white shorts there's just so many ways to wear these shirts, I love them. I think it's very rare that I would put on a linen shirt and not like it. There would have to be something drastically wrong with it. Um, yeah, I love this. I love the fit of it. I'm really glad I went for the bigger size because this is like just about the size I like. I really, really love the beige stripe on it. I've gone for like a completely neutral vibe with this outfit and I love it. I think it would also look just as nice buttoned up and tucked in maybe a nice pair of like um brown or camel colored shorts that would look so so lovely but yeah i mean striped linen shirt it's like my bread and butter in summer i'm always gonna love it so i'd usually roll the sleeves up a couple of times like that just for a little bit more of a casual vibe but yeah i love this this is great okay i picked up another dress again a very sort of like daytime dress you'll notice that with my new dress phase all of the dresses they're all very casual and daytime wear um sort of appropriate i don't i'm not the biggest fan of dresses in the evening like tight bodycon dresses i like my more casual vibes so that's probably the trend that you've noticed when i say there's a lot more dresses so I just I couldn't resist trying this one. I love the colour. I love like a khaki colour. I feel like it goes quite flattering with my skin tone. I always enjoy wearing this colour. So I picked this one up. It's got this, um, if I bring it close to you, this almost sort of like crinkly effect on there. This almost like textured effect. It's long sleeved. It is, is it maxi? Yeah, it will be just short of being a maxi on me because I am quite a long human. Um, and then on the sleeves, I thought these sleeves, this is the same on the hem as well. Just this little like bit of texture. I thought it was so cute. I thought this would be so lovely with tan details, some gold earrings like I'm wearing now. And just something really nice to throw on other than just throwing on trousers and a top or jeans and a top all the time. I got my usual size small. So yeah, we will see about this one. This is one of those occasions where I wish I could add material onto an outfit because from literally like my shins upwards, I really love this for like just throwing on. I love the sleeves 
on this. Can you see this like detail? I love that. I love the sort of crinkly effect. I've just styled it with my um, rope sandals, also from H&M, and just my beach bag from Zara. But I don't know about you guys, I feel like it's just, I wish it was just that little bit longer where it, I wish it was almost more of a maxi dress. It's at that sort of in-between length and I don't know whether that's just making it look, I don't know, I feel like it's more ageing. Do you know what I mean? I, I wish it was more maxi um, and I feel like it would just give me that desired look that I was hoping for with this dress but by no means, I don't hate it but I'm definitely more undecided on this one because I do like the overall style. I'm just wishing it was that little bit longer, it's neither here nor there. So yeah, you're gonna have to let me know on this one. But overall, I do love the color. As I said, I like the fit of it. But um, yeah, let me know about this one. Now I know this is very different for me, but as I said, I'm into my dresses. So I decided to grab this from H&M. This is very much like a holiday kind of dress. I don't know why I was so drawn to this. Before I actually lead you down the garden path, actually, and lie to you, they did this in black. Now, now I did put the black one in my basket originally, but I thought, you know what, no, I'm going to push myself out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to order black. I'm going to order this colour instead and add a little bit of colour into my um, summer wardrobe. Will I end up keeping it? I don't know. It all depends on the all-important try-on clip. But I also did size down in this dress as well. Same reason, a lot of comments saying that it was um, slightly oversized, so I did get this in a size extra small. I told you guys I was trying to step out my comfort zone and be a little bit more adventurous with uh, colour. I'm going to keep this really short and sweet, guys. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. I feel really frumpy. I feel really shapeless. I hate it. I feel like someone that has just given up with themselves. It's a no for me. I really, no, 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 no. It's giving me Nana at sports day vibes, Nana on a cruise vibes. Hate it, don't like it, I wanna get it off my body and send it back straight away before I develop a complex. No, it's a big no from me. And that's it guys, that's everything I bought from H&M. So I really hope you enjoyed that little haul. I will have another haul coming soon, so hope you're ready for it. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video guys and what you liked that I picked out. Um, I'm gonna leave this here, but as always guys, please do leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.